25k to kill a nigga, that's it. For 25k, I kill a nigga for real. Walk up on a point blank range in his grill. This nigga mama cry before my son miss a meal. Who cares if I'm white? You racist piece of shit, all you do is stereotype. But guess what? My dick's bigger, I rap better, plus I fight live. And even in basketball, the best shooters are the white guys. Don't have an outbreak, you kiss that bitch. You think that mouth's safe? She called my phone, blew up the bam, click. Now she showed up to my house late. Now she talked about sucking my dick so much, I thought I was in the army doing our last day. <laughs> Cause every time we talk, it was a bell face. His homeboy keep talking while I'm rapping. Not cool. The contracts that I can't hit this nigga. Not you. I will close this backhand your biggest rap fan. When I'm selfish, nigga, you gon' get smashed round next. You hear that click clack? Get used to that sound, Rex. I'm like a procrastinating pimp ever since I picked up this pistol. I ain't put my Mac down yet. You think it's gangster to let a mother let that dope more than her daughter? Shoot a father from his son and turn around and put that boy on the corner? Or leave your son out here alone to fend for himself? Knowing he need order? Is your money being long worth your lifespan being shorter? You gonna get this work, nigga. Chris, I'm by review checking in. About to give you a breakdown of K Shine versus John John the Don. Let me just say happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Hope y'all had a good holiday and the whole nine. So let's just get right into round one. K Shine. I was on Twitter. Everybody was saying K Shine killed John John the Don. It definitely looked closer on camera. So you know that when you go there, whenever you see a battle live, man, it's just it's kind of always like that. If the crowd is really rocking with someone heavy, it's always gonna seem like they won. You know what I'm saying? So. Kind of got a bit of break shit down a bit to tell who actually really won. So round one, I felt like Kayshawn first round was kind of weak, to be honest with you. I did like the way he started. I liked the whole, uh, I was talking to Beasley. He was telling me I had the Don. I thought it was hollow. It was really John John. That whole setup was nice. He say, he say not the did the Don, the other the Don. I say other the Don. I say other the Don. <laughs> as far as the way he started, I was rocking with everything he said. He told, um... He said something about how John John is still in Hollow's name. Like everyone says that when they battle John John and Don. It's like an old angle now. It really doesn't hit like it used to. People have been saying that ever since his grind time days. So, you know, it don't really hit like it used to. He had a CB4 line, which was a, another stolen bar. He had, um, I did like his low cast setup when he was like straight out low cast, a nigga named John John. That shit was kind of funny. K Shine's performance in this battle was pretty good. And even if his bar wasn't really that hot, sometimes the way he performed it won it over anyway. So he had a few Bill Collector lines in there. When when it hit, man, you'll be on World Star like Bill Collector. Obviously, Bill Collector made World Star for the whole little Hitman squabble or whatever. The Bill Collector lines were just okay. So overall, I felt like his round one was kind of weak. John John Adon comes back in round one. The crowd really wasn't rocking with him like the entire battle. There was a lot of hot lines, he said, but people just either, you know, he got some applause on so that, like they was just completely hating on him. But a lot of that shit he was saying, it was like he had to say something really hot before people really rock with him. You can obviously tell that uh, K. Shine definitely had the crowd in this battle. But John John comes in around one, he has the OKC uh, scheme. I didn't like that at all. Obviously, it's been done before. He even said after that, I know it's been done before, but that's okay. I'm battling a nigga that's been dead before. Like, just because, like he, it's like he'll know that he's repeating on something that's been done before, but because he says, I know it's been done before, I guess he thinks it's supposed to be okay, but it's not. After that, he had a couple little bars in there that was pretty decent. He had a spit shine line that was pretty nice. He had a Carmax lip shine line that was pretty nice. That was pretty decent. The poker scheme he had was pretty decent. The, um... The Twitter scheme, I really wasn't feeling that. We've seen a lot of Twitter schemes, so it's kind of like it's hard to make those hot now because, like, everyone is saying, like, I'm going to DM you, I'm going to pound you, I'm going a, I'm to a this. Like, everyone is, like, saying it's not even really, like, a hot scheme no more. Of course, he's going to discuss dot mod. It's kind of typical of what people do, but he really didn't have any really hot dot mod lines either. He was like, I put Mook Rex Shine in a box. Now that's how I connect the dots. He was like, I'll put T-Rex under the rocks like an archaeologist. 
So overall, I felt like John John's round was week two, but this round was a toss up. I will probably go with Kayshawn though because I like the way he started and his performance won over the round over over John John and Don in my opinion. But you know, Kayshawn comes back around two. He has to dot my recru recruiting scheme, which was kind of decent, saying you know that we recruited Tay Rock over you. That was set up pretty decent. He had the whole barber scheme that was decent, even though we see, just seen Clips do it at Summer Madness, so I really wasn't feeling that too much either. He redid the multiple choice. That was kind of hot, though. I came front. I was fucking with that. He had a stock 10 line. We just saw Hitman do that at Summer Madness. The secondhand cigarette smoke line. We've heard that before, too. He had a Soul Train scheme that was not that good. k Shine's round two really wasn't good to me either. k Shine's round two, I thought that was kind of weak as well. So, John John comes back in round two. He had to get this nigga Rex lines, which were set up pretty well. The funniest part of this whole round is if you look very closely, I don't remember what the minute mark is, but if you look closely, he's like looking down at Rex and he's saying, uh, where did you get this nigga Rex or whatever. The look on Rex's face is priceless if you go back to this clip. Like that shit is just priceless. Why is you here? Go and get that nigga Rex so I can ask him who is Case Shine and where'd you get that nigga Rex? He talk loud but ain't making no noise. I don't get that nigga Rex, but if this hammer clap He looking at he he's kinda looking at the crowd like why is this nigga talking to me? Like that shit was just funny as hell. So um the roundhouse line he had was pretty nice. He had some little recap. I'll recap you before the battle come out or whatever. Like that line was pretty decent. He had like the little multiple choice within a multiple choice. That shit was just, that shit was weak too. I really wasn't feeling that. Um, you'll get killed for the, for the presidents like Mount Rushmore. That shit was kind of decent. Obviously Mount Rushmore has four presidents on it. So um, I thought John John Adon's round was okay. It was definitely better than Kayshawn's to me. So I thought John John won this Kayshawn round. comes back in round three. I thought Kayshawn had a pretty good round three. It was, it was definitely his best round of the entire battle. He starts off with the whole BET. Everyone that follows Battle Rap knows that John John Adon lost recently on 106 and Park. big stain on my boxes. You need to get off. I'm blaming it on you because it's from your girl lip gloss. Now I hope this next bottle get me kicked off. But she be jumping for the ball like it's tip off. I bet money that I can make him mad. You bummy, you ugly, you trailer park trash. Your image is sad, you really look bad. You need a multiple choice on how to fix your swag. This ain't tell your barber say no to them drugs. Or B, stop ironing your shirt without it plugged. The C, tell them jeans that you don't want to hug. A D, stop from the sticks and clean all of the above. Now, judges, think of election day before y'all try to rob me. Who y'all going to vote for, Obama or Romney? I plan Hey, just me, y'all, but check it out. In the face, you kind of look like Hova, but your girl ain't Beyonce, she looks like Oprah. Uh, so what are you thinking? I don't even know, this dude's up here, he must be drinking, though. Yo, you gone wild out, son? I ain't never met a goon that get his eyebrows done. John John to Don, you get them waxed at your mom mom's salon. John John, you're gone. Where John John go? Turn John John to Don to John John Doe. I got Tito and cardiac impressed. Can't believe he lost having cardiac arrest. Hold up. And you call me Mir Romney? John John, you're lame. You already been a loser. John John McCain. Can you please flip your cards on please. the count of three? Two, one, what we got? Oh, it's split. Oh. Wow. Wow. That means you at home are the tiebreaker. So, so you know what that means. What, 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 you wanna? We, they gotta, we gotta reveal everybody at home. It's up to y'all. Let's reveal who the winner is. With 72% uh, uh, percent of the votes, viewers want the current champ, Voss. <laughs> Salute to Boss. Big shots going out uh -oh. to John John and Don too, man. Boss is the champ. All right. All right. Now, I got that for both of y'all. My man John for John sure. and Don came through. Did thing. Thing. Did thing. And you know, the champ gets to go second, which is an advantage. You know, he went first. He kind of fell off in the first. I had a strong first. He had a strong second. He came back. I had a strong second. And it was kind of, you know, you, I guess you could say it was a toss-up. Uh, and then, you know, we had to wait forever, and they finally gave in the uh, decision. It was split. 
Uh, and then the my people came through for me, man. I, I've been working to get people to vote for this forever. My people came through 72%, man. That's, cr that's crazy. Like, that dude has 2 million views on YouTube. I got, like, 50,000. Like, that's homegrown, underground. Like, I love that, man. So thank you to everyone that voted. It means so much. How you an African-American, but you lose to a white dude on BET. That shit was decent. I was fucking with that. How you gonna have this attitude when you bigging us up? I was fucking with that line. That line was pretty decent. Obviously, from the trailer, the whole dead nigga kick, and he walked over. Y'all seen the trailer. Y'all already know how it was set up. This shit was dope. I thought his round for three was pretty decent. John John comes back in round three. He starts off with a lot of filler, to be honest with you. He had a Huxable line, filler. He had a high def line, filler. He had a deodorant scheme, filler. I did like the silver metal line. When I gave you this silver, you know you was coming in second place. Obviously, silver, chrome of the gun. That shit was kind of dope. The alarmed all arms thing, he was trying to like slow it down and let, let people know what it was. I wasn't feeling that. He discussed the whole tranny thing, but I think he could have set it up differently. Like what John John really missed, he don't have no charisma. See a dude like Averb or a dude that like really has a lot of charisma, he would have been able to take the tranny shit, flip it on K-Shine in a smooth way to kind of like make that shit like extra funny. But John John really, he's not that kind of valor. So even though he said it, and I mean, he did have some funny moments when he was like, but you asked for the number after you found out that he was a dude, like that shit was kind of funny. And you probably fucking wrecked, like that shit was funny too. But for the most part, I felt like he could have done a little bit more with the whole tranny, tranny theme. The iPhone Siri line was pretty decent. We've seen iPhone apps or iPhone flips before, so it wasn't really all that, but it was a pretty decent line. The, the K flips he had at the end, even when you're up, I'm coming for for UK, like Europe and UK. Um, you think you lie, but you can get it 2K. That shit was decent. The bouquet line was kind of nice, even though Conceited said it versus Rex. So overall, I felt like John John had a pretty decent round three, even though he started off with a lot of filler. But K-Shine definitely won round three. Yeah, another thing I noticed about this battle too was that... Um, John John and Don definitely outbarred K Shine in his battle, but K Shine outperformed John John and Don clearly in his battle. And I felt like John John and Don, he um, rapped way too fast. Like, he didn't really allow his bars to set up. And I was really thinking that because people really wasn't fucking with him in the venue, that sometimes it makes you rush your shit a little bit more and you kind of speak faster because you want to get everything out. You don't want to get booed or whatever. And I think that played a part in why his delivery was a little bit off and it wasn't as polished as I've seen him in other battles. And um, so Kayshawn, his performance was just good. A lot of times, the, the, the way he changes his cadences, his body movements, just different little things he do in a battle, it just sets up well with a lot of shit that he's trying to do and it, it makes his performance a lot better. I can see people going with John John. I just definitely think that Kayshawn did enough to win the battle two to one. Let me just get into these stumbles slash chokes real quick. I didn't really have a problem with Kayshawn stopping this round because Kayshawn actually rapped for five minutes in round three. So I felt like he gave you enough material. It wasn't kind of like Sue Surf when he battled Young Ill, how he stopped like a minute and a half or two minutes into the round and just gave the round up. Surf really didn't give you a lot of material that round. So in my opinion, he just kind of choked that round away. Kayshawn, on the other hand, I didn't really look at his, at his uh, round as a choke. I just felt like... Um, you know, he just didn't want to rap no more. Clearly, he forgot his bars, but since it was at the end and he played off well, it didn't really come off like a choke to me. So I'm, I'm not going to really count that as a choke. And a stumble in round one by K-Shine, it wasn't that bad. You know, we see stumbles all the time. If you stumble, I don't really care. You don't really lose no round, in my opinion. But overall, man, it wasn't a good battle. I got K-Shine two to one. So shout out to the Facebook group, Unbiased Review Rap Battle Debates. If you want to join, send me a friend request on Facebook easy to find search unbiased review um, also follow me on twitter backslash unbiased review for any updates any reviews i got a lot of videos coming out man this week you know especially since i got a lot of free time so i'm gonna be dropping a lot of theme videos i got a real funny video that i'm about to drop i got a um uh, best round of 2012 best battle rapper of 2012 a lot of shit i'm about to drop so make sure you subscribe to the channel and that's what it is, man. Unbiased review. Shout out to everyone that fuck with me. Everybody that don't fuck with me still, I'm still shout you out anyway. And that's what it is. Peace.